What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Probably Fishing. So, today it's supposed to be almost in the 90s. And I figured what better to do on a hot day to go to the beach. So we're gonna go fish a place that we have not been able to fish yet, that I've always wanted to fish, and that is Peacock Beach. It is a public state park, public beach type place. Um, but we're gonna have a little bit of a challenge today. We are going to grab the old dock demons. I have a dock demon deluxe spinning rod and a dock demon casting rod, which we're gonna put a Timu bait caster reel on. And uh, we're gonna go down and actually get in the water probably and do a little fishing. So guys, if you like this type of content, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and there's nothing left to do but uh, head down to the water. So we'll see you there. All right, Bales? Oh yeah. Say you're going fishing. We're going fishing. We'll see you there, guys. All right, guys. Welcome back. We are finally here. This is Peacock Beach. It's a state park. This is a place I've been wanting to fish for quite some time because it looks like a great place to fish. And we're finally gonna get to do it. But, like I said in the intro, we're doing it with the dock demons. So, we're gonna see what happens here. Where are we gonna go? I guess we'll start right here. Right at the actual beach. Ugh, ain't nobody down here right now, so we got it all to ourselves. Of course, we don't wanna come down here when people are fishing or anything, but I think we're gonna pop the shoes off and go right into the water. Cause it looks pretty shallow at the moment. Ooh, something just moved over there. Looks pretty shallow at the moment. There's some minnows here. We're gonna pop the shoes off. Oh. And uh, we're all mixed, we're all hooked up here. God dang it. I love crankbait hooks. Looks pretty dang shallow for a crankbait, so we're gonna start off with an old wacky worm rig. Let's see how cold this water is, it's early in the morning. Oh yeah, that's nice. Well, we do got fish swimming around in here, we got minnows. I'm not sure what species of minnow. Or they might be small bass or something, but. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is refreshing, to say the least. Try, let's try throwing that crankbait. It is pretty shallow here, but doesn't mean we can't use a crankbait. Now let's see how, yeah, see all these minnows right here? I don't know what kind of fish those are. Let's see how a crankbait will do in the shallow. Let's see how we can even cast this. Let's see if the, <laughs> what the casting is like with this tiny ass rod. Not bad at all, you gotta give it a whip. But... Lots of weeds right here. Right off where the, right off where the swimming part ends, there's like a whole bunch of weeds, so. I'm gonna rig up some different colors here. Um, and then we're gonna, actually go down towards that rock over there, I think. There's a bridge that kind of walks over there, so we're gonna check out over there real quick. All right, guys, we're heading to the other spot here. Cool little path through the woods here. Bridges some better days though. Do, 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 do. Oh, almost lost the pliers. Oh, this is cool. Cool little cove right here. All right, so we rigged up a different color wacky worm. We got the uh, yum watermelon candy, and then we've got the yum black red shad ribbon tail, which I'm gonna start with. We got that on a weight, Texas rigged. I'm just gonna keep these shoes on because they're destroyed anyway. I don't really care. Walk right out in the water with them. Look at that, cast like a champ. We might 
be able to get it right out on this rock here. Actually, it's so shallow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think I had a fish. I think I had a fish. Oh, yeah, he was messing with it. That was definitely a fish. I'm just going to set my phone in my shirt pocket. Under the under the GoPro strap. That'll keep it nice and secure in place so we don't lose it in the water. So that'd be a big old bummer. up on something like this throws your equilibrium off <laughs> all right we're gonna switch some stuff out okay all right hip-hop anybody can tell me what that's from okay hip-hop all right we got this little little lipless crankbait here let's throw that in a little bit see if that'll get smacked on if not we're going back to the wacky worm because we got hit on that We might just be wasting time with these crankbaits. I don't know. I just I love a good crankbait bite, man. I can't, I can't help myself. We're going micro just to see if we can entice something. Just a little, little micro. Little mini guy. This is a creme micro lipless. They're like 95 cents. I think they're even cheaper than that, actually, to be honest with you. Oh, we got hit. We got hit. There it is. There it is, guys. That's a bass. Let's get him up. Oh, we lost him. Come on. Did you see that? Oh. Come on, guys. Can't, uh, I can't hook set worth beans with this thing. Even with freaking treble hooks, man. He got smacked, though. That was awesome. I'm trying to get one up for you guys, but I just, God dang. I'll just try to aim this camera down a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing, because I'm pretty high here. He got smacked. We're kind of just yo-yoing it. And it got wrecked. Well, that's a good sign. can't believe we lost that that sucked being up this rock doesn't help really to be honest with you it's kind of hard to hoist them up all right guys um we're currently waiting through the water here um we've left the rock because i think the hookup ratio is pretty bad there i can see people's like soft baits down in the water here so people definitely fish here um the hookup ratio is pretty bad on top of the rock so i'm hoping we can get something a little better hookup ratio where we're more level to the water we've got a uh, wacky worm rig rigged on I'm just kind of wading through. Is that a fish? No, I think that was a plant. We had a plant. There are quite a few weeds here. I did take off the weedless hook just because we weren't going to go hook up ratio also. So I might end up hooking a few weeds here as we go. We're making our way back to the actual beach where we started. fishing out in these uh, woolly wags here my other rod is in my pocket that's how convenient these dock demon rods are really
That's the great thing about Maine. Oh, so many sunglasses right here. Check this out. Hold on. Let's see if I can get these. Oh, look at that. Found some sunglasses. Renewal by Anderson. I don't know if those are a good brand or not, but <laughs> I'll throw those over on the shore. Maybe someone will find them. That's the cool thing about Maine, man. You can get right in the water and fish without having to worry about like nasty animals. Maybe a snapping turtle. That, that, that's probably the meanest animal you're gonna come across in the water. Or a pike, if there's a big pike. <laughs> but as long as you're not skinny dipping, you tallywhacker hanging out, I don't think you gotta worry about a pike, really. I don't think they'll really bite you. So you got the old worm wangling, you know what I'm saying? Just getting some weeds here. Here, fishy, fishy, fish. Jason needs some fish for his channel to work, so I'm gonna need y'all to start biting people. We're getting in mud here. I'm glad I put my shoes on. Start going this way here. Oh, we just got hit. I think we got one, dude. I think we got one. Oh, he's a little guy. Come on, keep him on, keep him on. We need him, we need him. We got one, finally. First one landed, guys. Little bass on the wacky rig on the Dock Demon Rod. Success. Success. Let's see if we can get that hook out without getting the pliers out. Oh, yeah, just push it on out there, bud. I'm just gonna gently push it out. Sorry, I gotta get down in your mouth, guy. I think we got it out there. Almost. No, man, it's weird for me, too. Alright. Let's try and get my finger out of your mouth. There you go. We got it. First bass on the Dock Demon Rod. Yeah, tiny little guy. Let's get that for a little thumbnail there we go he's not our first bass actually we've caught a couple of bass today but they've they've gotten off before we could land them that's the first one landed hey okay, guys we're heading back in so we've tied on the old kbd sartreuse black me and my dad call this the go-to because this is the crankbait that we go to when we need to catch fish um, i left the bag back over on that ramp hopefully nobody takes it there's nobody here so i'm not worried about it Got the other dock demon in my pocket, and we got some pliers in my pocket. We're getting up to our waist now in the water. Which, you know what reminds me? My wallet is in my back pocket. We might wanna, oh yeah, she's wet. Might wanna move that up to the old shirt pocket. The old wife, that was the old wife calling. If you heard the phone ring there. But we're back. We got our bait stuck up here. I could sworn I heard somebody talking up here. Ain't nobody here. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a fish? Is that a fish? I think we got one, boys. We got a clam. Best catch ever, guys. We got ourselves a freshwater clam. I, I, that's a, that is a living animal. It counts as a catch. On the crankbait. Greatest catch ever. <laughs> we got ourselves... <laughs> freshwater clam it's in there too holy crap I don't know. <laughs> he caught him right on the back side was he floating what, what was going on here I don't know let me get my <laughs> I'm counting that as a catch guys I am counting that as a catch oh man that is in his shell too buddy I don't know if that's in you inside that shell or what but there we go PB right there Drop him back. Has anybody else other than me caught a freshwater clam or any type of shellfish on a crankbait? Let me know because that's hilarious. Like I've never in my life seen that. All right, let's switch back to the wacky worm. 
we're gonna hook this way up here because this is gonna be in my pocket and I'd rather not get hooked in the giblets where the crankbait is in the middle of a pond. That would just, just couldn't imagine that. Let's see if I can get this thing out of my pocket without ripping my pocket. There we go. And we're gonna try and put this in the pocket. I am soaked. My ride is not gonna be happy with me. Should get over it. I don't know if you guys can even see what's going on here. I'm just stuffing a bait caster in my pocket. Put the old wacky rig back out and see if we can smack a bass or two. I'm gonna be honest with you guys that all come with your loads of gear, which I do too, don't get me wrong. I got my loads of gear, but you throw a wacky worm and a crankbait on a couple rods and head out, that's pretty much all you need, really. Because they're gonna hit one or the other, really, most of the time. I should throw a black wacky worm out here because this water is kind of murky. I'm not gonna lie. It does feel nice though. I will give it that. I think that's a fish, guys. I think that's a fish. I think that's a fish. Please be a fish. Oh yeah, that's a fish. That's a good one. What we got? What we got? That's a fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a nice one, guys. What do we got? On the wacky worm. On the dock demon. Oh, that's a nice bass. That's a nice bass, guys. Oh, that's a nice one. Come on. Come on. We gotta get him. That's a nice fish. Let's get him to the shore. Let's get him to the shore. This is a nice fish. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. On the dock demon. Look at the size of this fish, guys. Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh my God, guys. Look at the size of this fish. Oh, oh my Christ. Oh, he swallowed that good. We gotta get to my gear. Hold on. We gotta get a weight on this guy. That made the day right there, guys. Boys, I just, I, I don't know why I say boys like that, but on the dock demon rod, guys. Oh, you know what? My pliers are in my back pocket. I forgot, I got so excited. Look at this bass. Look at this bass. All right, let me get, let me get this out of my pocket. Let me get this out of him. I'm stopping myself here. Oh, he had that, he wasn't getting off. Don't try to swallow my pliers, guy. Try to do this without hurting you. swallow my pliers. He's trying to swallow my pliers. Dude, stop swallowing my pliers. We got it. He's good. Whoo! That is a bass, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, let's get a weight on this guy and then we'll let him go. This is a good, he's pretty hefty feeling. He's definitely not my PB. I can, I can tell that already, but he is a good sized fish. Let's hook him up here. See what we got going on here. Don't flail, guy. We're on pounds. That is a 3.08, three pounder, guys. On the dock demon. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. With the dock demon rod. All right, let's let him go. Oh yeah, he's gonna, oh God, he just sliced my thumb all to hell. All right, guy, we're gonna let you go, big mama. We're gonna let you go. Let's get a nice release here. There you go, the lip's kind of messed up. You can see right here. Looks like you've been caught quite a couple times there, had some fights. There you go, big mama. There she goes. That made the whole video right there, guys. Ooh, she sliced my thumb up. She sliced my thumb up. 
All right, you know what? We're gonna leave the bait caster here and we're just gonna keep throwing that wacky rig because that was a nice fish. That was an insane fish. Well, I've always wanted to come here and fish and we have success. We are soaked to the bone, but we have now successfully caught us a nice fish out of here on the wacky rig. And I was thinking of switching to the black rig, but yum, watermelon candy. Got the job done, guys. You cannot beat a yum worm. There's no better, if you ask me, no better stick bait in the game. And you see how well this rod handled that fish? Like, that was great. All right, let's see if we can get another. That made all those ones that we lost out on the rock over there, well worth it. And that tiny one that we caught over here somewhere. <laughs> After that was well worth it. I felt that rod starting to move and I was like, I think that might be a fish. And I gave it the old hook set and it definitely was a fish. <laughs> she was hooked right in the gullet, but we got it out. It's crazy how bass try to swallow your pliers. Big bass like that, their little throat mechanism there. Whatever, I call it the gullet. I know that's not the right word for it, but crazy how like you put your pliers down and grab the hook and they start swallowing your pliers. All right, let's get the old cast over here. Anything over in this way. I can't tell if that's a fish, but oh, it was. We dangled out of its mouth. Oh. oh, again, it came back for it. Came back for it. We getting hit. Yeah, fishy, fishy. Let's see if we can get another big one. Another big one. So that was a swell fish. At a public beach. Can you believe that? That size fish at a public beach. Came early in the morning before it got hot, before anybody got here. And we smacked us a three pounder. A nice three pounder. Beautiful fish. Oh, there is somebody here. Yeah. Guess I'm not the only one here. If you've been listening to me talk to myself, I have a GoPro on, I'm filming a video. I'm not crazy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't realize there was anybody else here. <laughs> oh, that's another one. We got another one, guys. We got another one. Doesn't feel as good as the last one, but. Oh, she fighting. She fighting. Not bad. 
Not bad. Took our worm. Ugh. That's another one down. Look at that. Gonna have to go re rig up. Another large mouth. Not even sure if that last one was a large mouth or a spot, but. All right, little guy, little girl, let's let you go. There she goes. Let's go get another one. got much battery left uh, on the GoPro. I am gonna get a uh, charger pack for the GoPro at some point, which we wouldn't have been able to use today because it would have been in my pocket, but um, we're gonna go right back over to where we just caught those two fish. There's a young lady up here reading a book and I'm out here talking to myself, so. I must seem a little crazy, but I let her know that I'm not a crazy person. <laughs> We're just out here catching stuff. Got him. That's another fish. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's a crappie. Multi species today, guys. We got us a crappie on the wacky worm. Oh, hold on, bud. These are cool little fish. They're like a hybrid almost between a bass and a sunfish, if you ask me. Like a largemouth bass and a sunfish. Don't flail, buddy. I'm trying to get this out of you. There we go. Almost had to pull the pliers out. Look at this guy. That's a black crappie, I believe. I think that's the only ones we have in Maine. Look at those tail, that tail, super thick web. Cool fish, I love catching these things. Beady eyes, woo. It's like a sunfish with a very large mouth. Let's let this guy go. They are spiny though, so. Off he goes. Multi-species, guys. That's always cool. Well, that's gonna do it guys. Um, as you can see, I'm in the same spot as I did the intro. That's because I'm a moron and I erased the original intro and the original outro. So I had to re-record them. Yeah, that's just that's the type of stuff I do. So, <laughs> they ever wonder where you are, you tell them you're at a public beach and uh, you're probably fishing. See you guys next time. See you guys next time. Hey, Chris. I'm Chris. Get over here. Get over here. There you go. We'll see you next time. <laughs>